we started day three with an early morning visit to the Sun Yat-sen Memorial Hall. The Sun Yat-sen Memorial Hall is a shrine to the Republic of China's National Father, Dr. Sun Yat-sen. The Central Hall spans the full height of the building and features a huge statue of Dr. Sun Yat-sen, watched over by two guards standing motionless on duty. The Memorial Hall has four floors, including a basement, and is completely free of charge. The father of the nation was instrumental in overthrowing the Qing Dynasty, and he became the first president of the Republic of China ROC, Taiwan. Sun Yat-sen Memorial Hall is one of the best places in Taipei to see art exhibitions. Not only was this memorial hall built in his memory, he was also given the honor of being placed on the back of the most abundant currency, the $100 note. There are eight galleries in the building, many of them showing temporary exhibitions featuring traditional and contemporary art, photography and calligraphy. hectares. The hall is surrounded by beautiful gardens, with a fountain directly in front of the hall and a lovely pond in the corner. You can also view the Taipei 101 building from here. Beautifully well-kept gardens are found on three sides off Memorial Hall, including many statues of Dr. Sun. Also one of the best spots in the city to view the spectacular Taipei 101 from a distance. Our next stop was the Peace Park and National Taiwan Museum. The park features pavilions, ponds, and amphitheater. The main building of the National Taiwan Museum, one of the best museums in Taipei, can also be found in the park. Established in 1908, the National Taiwan Museum is the oldest museum in Taiwan. The main building sits right on the edge of the park and is where all newest and best temporary exhibitions are. The main lobby area features Renaissance-style windows, huge columns, and dome-shaped roof.
The large Evolution Hall contains an impressive dinosaur exhibit, featuring boffreal land artificial bones, skeletons, with many displays of fossils and bones. The exhibit also includes fossils and stuffed animals, from the periods before and after the dinosaurs. Cluck Deals. Get discounted tickets to attractions via Cluck. To get 250 pesos off, use promo code SIN64. The museum also features a number of interactive exhibits which are ideal for children. Our next destination was the Museum of Contemporary Arts. Also known as Mocha Taipei, the museum shows temporary art exhibitions with a heavy emphasis on modern audio, visual art. The building is a former school with two floors. There are usually a couple of exhibitions at any one time, often with screens showing multimedia or interactive artwork. Admission fee is $50 and TD, and you can use your Easy Card to pay. It is open from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m., except on Mondays and holidays. We then headed to the Longshan Temple. It is easy to get to as you can take the MRT to Longshan Temple Station. One of the oldest temples in Taiwan, Longshan Temple, was built during the Qing Dynasty in 1738. Parts of it have been rebuilt many times due to earthquakes and the bombing during World War II. Despite this, it remains one of the most popular and impressive eating poles in Taipei, attracting huge crowds throughout the day. Many locals come here to pray and ask the gods for advice.
also buy amulets and lucky charms here. Nearby Longshan Temple is the Bopilio Historic Block. The Bopilio Historical Block is a well-preserved Qing Dynasty street which served as passage from here to the Guding District. During the late 1800s, this was one of the busiest and wealthiest areas in Taipei until Japanese rule displaced the street with newer roads. It was largely left to ruin until 2002, when the Taipei city government chose to renovate the area. Many of the buildings are open to the public, including a museum. There is also an exhibit dedicated to the COVID-19 pandemic. to Longshan Temple and the Huaxi Street Night Market, so come in the early evening before it gets dark. Huaxi Street Night Market has the usual night market fair, with lots of food and drinks choices. There is an indoor section where you can even try snake, frogs and other adventurous food. A day in Taiwan is not complete without going to a night market. For dinner so we then went to Shilin Night Market Max. Take the MRT to Jiantan Station and follow the signs to Shilin Night Market. the largest night market in Taipei, and the one which draws the most tourists. Shilin Night Market is a must visit, as long as you can handle the crowds. Whether it's food, drink, shops, or games you're after, Shilin Night Market has hundreds of stalls to keep you fed and entertained. There is also an abundance of shops selling clothes, shoes, suits, bags, etc.
covered area of the night market is where you'll find most of the games, although many others can be found throughout the market. Chilling Night Market's main cupboard structure has the same mix of food and game stalls. Chilling Night Market is the largest and most diverse in Taipei and is one you should experience at least once during your stay. Try the famous Michelin recommended Oster Omelette. While you're there, it tastes much better than it looks. A must try is the delicious Taiwan sausage. That tasted even better than expected. The cues are a good indication of the quality of the food stand. So it's always a good idea to join the line. After a long day, we headed back to our hotel in Zymendi. See you in the next vlog for day for in Taiwan. Thank you for watching. Please like the video and subscribe. See you on the next video.